Hello everyone, it's Dr. Connor. And Dr. Victoria. With Tree of Life Chiropractic, and we're here to talk about how fear is affecting our immune system. Yes, so if you watched the last video that we did in this series, you will know that there are three different uh, stresses placed on your nervous system. There can be physical stress, chemical stress, and emotional stress. So we're going to dive into how that emotional stress equals fear and what you can do to overcome that fear. Yep. And nowadays, there's a lot of fear going around. Um, there's a lot of fear and uncertainty in what's going to come or what is happening. And we find, or overall, your nervous system is going to take in that stress. It's going to build up that emotional fear uh, and create a lot of uh, additional and just kind of revolving door stress on your system. Um, and that, as that's happening, it's actually going to start to downregulate and um, shift your immune system and your immune response into something that you're not necessarily wanting to have. Yep, and so we definitely wanted to talk about different ways that you can overcome that fear and protect your mindset because when everything is uncertain and in times of chaos, the only one thing you have full control over is your mindset. And so that's why it's super, super important to always protect your mindset because that's a one thing you can always control. And positivity is really gonna make a huge difference. So I want to just <clears throat> recap real quick, um, fear, making it an emotional stress, uh, that happens all the time. Um, and it has everything to do with the fact that we had to um, live our lives with bears running at us, uh, just uncertainty, um, which created that emotion, emotional stress, which puts us into a sympathetic response. So anything that's going to decrease your sympathetic response is going to be an example of something that can help reduce that fear. Um, so some examples of things that we are doing uh, specifically, uh, my favorite is we've started doing puzzles, which yep. is pretty cool. Yep. Um, what's the next one? Uh, well, we're also working on a thousand piece puzzle, by the way. So if you've never done that before, <laughs> it's a little bit intense, but it can actually be very re relaxing once you get, once you get the corners in. Um, but what we've also been working out daily, mostly body weight, because obviously our gym is closed, so we can't do that, but our gym is awesome, Costco Bay CrossFit, and they are, um, giving us at-home workouts that we can do daily without any equipment, so that's been really, really good for us to do, too. Yep. yep. Uh, we also are creating a lot of lists, um, things that keep us on track and make sure that we are doing what we need to do, uh, and keep our minds busy so that we're not falling back on the things that are creating more fear yep. these days. We're also limiting the time that we're spending online and limiting the time that we're spending watching the news. So we're pretty much not watching the news, we're just reading the news because watching it can be a whole nother animal. And so watching it, to me, is not um, a positive thing for my life. So I just read what I need to know, get the updates, and then move on with my day and digest that information because you don't wanna keep scrolling because you're just gonna constantly see things that are not necessarily great for that uh, fear response. Uh, and every day we're trying to reach out to some family members or friends that we, we have that we're not able to be in contact with during these social distancing times. Yep, we're um, also trying to get outside more and just enjoy the brief moments of sunshine that we've been getting here in Maine and just trying to get outdoors and, and get that fresh air because that really is going to help boost that morale for sure. Yep. And we're also reading more books, yeah. which is something we haven't done for a while because yep. we've been going crazy here at the business. Yep, and also doing a lot of things, little improvements here at the business so that when we are back in full swing again, you guys will notice that some things are different and some things are better. So we're just trying to be proactive about getting things done for you guys and also just you know keeping ourselves busy is really the, the number one thing to do is keep yourself busy, keep yourself occupied and try and stay as positive as you possibly can during the whole thing. Um, any, that's, that's anything else you wanna list. add? I, I like that list. I mean, we also play a lot of board doing. games. Yeah. We, we uh, you know, Connor's brother is our roommate right now, and so we like to try and coax him into playing board games as often as possible. He's not a huge game lover, but hey, whenever we can get him to play, we play. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I think that's it. Obviously, there's a number of other things you can do um, to decrease that fear, but we just wanted to share with you guys what we, what we have been doing and focused on here. Um, so stay tuned for our next video. Our next video in this series is going to be talking more about the immune system and where it lives in your body and just more science behind the whole thing. So stay tuned for that next video. We'll see you guys real soon. Thanks for watching.